England, my hometown. So Eric, toes together, heels together. Pull up on your thigh muscles, suck in your tummy, tighten your butt. Interlock your fingers right down to the webbing. All of your knuckles underneath your chin, relax your shoulders down and let's begin. Inhale for one inhale, my Eric. As you inhale, float your elbows all the way up to the ceiling. Forearms, frame your gorgeous face. Now open your mouth, let your head go back. As your head goes back, your eyes, they're wide open. Your mouth is wide open. The weights in the heels, relax the shoulders and bring your elbows as you squeeze them together so high. And again, you inhale. It comes down. Elbows float up. As you inhale a little bit more, way at the top. And now please, would you let it go? When you let it go, look along the ceiling, pushing the knuckles into your throat. Your eyes, they're wide open. Your mouth is wide open. Bring your elbows as you squeeze them together so high. And again, inhale the prana into your body. This deep prana into your body. As you inhale a little bit more, guys, inhale. One more beautiful breath, way at the top. And again, would you let it go? Spiny straight eyes are open. You're looking on the ceiling, the shoulders are down. Relax them and bring your elbows as you please squeeze them together so high. And again, inhale, prana. You know prana means life force. Prana is energy. As you inhale a little bit more, the Chinese call it chi. Inhale one more breath. And again, would you let it go? And your spine is straight and your eyes are wide open and your mouth is wide open. As you relax the shoulders and you squeeze your elbows together, and again, you inhale your pranayama. This is the last one of your first set. As you keep inhaling, beautiful Chrissy, beautiful Renee, one more beautiful breath. And again, would you let it go? This is the last one, relaxing the shoulders. Please, would you bring your wrist and your elbows as you squeeze them together at the end. Excellent. Just let your arms float down by your side and let everything go. And then second set again, toes together, heels together, pull up on your thighs, suck your tummy tight, butt, interlock your fingers, knuckles underneath your chin, relax your shoulders. And let's begin, inhale for one and two and three and four and five and six at the top. Exhale for six and five and four and three and bring your elbows together. Now again, inhale. As you lengthen up in the spine, the chin is down. I lost you for a moment, Eric, but I'll be back. As you inhale a little bit more, you keep inhaling, my Suki, one more fabulous breath. And then boom, you let it go. Remember, your spine is straight, your eyes are open. You're looking on the ceiling, the shoulders are down. Bring your wrist and your elbow, squeeze them together really, really high. And again, you inhale. Chin down as you inhale. Elbows up as you inhale. A little bit more. And you keep inhaling. You keep inhaling. One more beautiful sip. And boom, again, you let it go. And the spine is straight. And your eyes are open and you're looking on the ceiling, pushing the knuckles into your throat, squeezing your elbows together. And again, you inhale your pranayama. We're nearly there, guys. Your shoulders are down. Your elbows are up. The weight's in the heels. You're expanding your lungs. Beautiful, Will. One more sip. And boom, as you let it go, spine straight, eyes wide open, looking on the ceiling, shoulders down, relax them, squeeze your elbows together. And again, you inhale. And this is the last one of your second set and you keep inhaling and you keep inhaling, you're stretching through the sides of your body, your intercostal muscles and boom, you let it go, your spine is straight, your eyes are open, you look along the ceiling and bring your elbows to squeeze at the end, excellent. Just let your arms float down by your side and you breathe. So we're going to start with Ardha. Ardha Chandrasana, Half Moon Pose, Padasasana, Hand to Feet Pose, please. Inhale with energy, your arms above your head. Interlock your fingers, release your index finger. Glue your wrists together, straight elbows, straight knees, reach up. We stretch your bodies from side to side. Every time you come through the middle, you're trying to touch the ceiling for three and for two and for one, please come, stop in the middle. Okay, guys, get the weight back in the heels. Suck your tummy, tighten your bum. Straight elbows, straight knees. Reach up as high as you can. Over you go. In a perfectly straight line towards the right hand side of your space and you breathe. It's a minute long posture. Just because we're doing an hour class, we're still doing deep postures. Very, very gently, would you invite your right left hip a little bit over your left ankle. 
Straighten your elbows again, because they love to bend and straighten your knees. When you straighten your elbows, glue your wrists together. You're trying to make a fist and actually push your fingertips themselves. You know that index finger that's released, push those together as well. And that will actually really begin to pull and stretch at the left hand arm as you pull it out of your shoulder socket with your right arm. It's fabulous, Ma. Your straight elbows, your straight knees. Your chin is up, it's beautiful, Will. You're sucking your tummy, you're tightening your bum and maybe push a little bit more Suki over towards the left hand side. We're on the last 15 seconds, guys. So here you go, weight in the heels, tighten every muscle in your body, pull your tummy muscles in and come down for five and come down for four and come down for three and two and done. <laughs> Breathe up long. Straighten your elbows, straighten your knees, reach up as high as you can, rainbow over in a perfectly straight line towards the left hand side of your space and you breathe and immediately you're opening each and every single vertebrae over the whole of the right hand side of your body. You're also stretching the ribs on the right hand side and those are the bones, but you're digging deeply into your right kidney. You're activating your liver, your spleen, your pancreas. You're also stretching your left, your right kidney, right arm, left arm pick forward Ma it's so deep today it's beautiful my Lindsay as well bring your left hip forward William you're on fire man suck your tummy straight elbow straight knees and you're gonna push a little bit more yes Eric you're right in over your right ankle and pull a little bit more your right arm yes Ma out of your shoulder socket Lindsay it looks incredibly beautiful now you suck your tummy you straighten your elbows we're on the last eight seconds guys lovely Renee come down five with Aaron come down four with um, Colby come down three two done <laughs> biggest breath up okay hips tummy thighs forward lift your chest up drop your head back shake out your head a couple of times see how your head feels see how your neck feels if tummy thighs forward lift your chest up and now begin to take your arms back to where your ears are lift your chest up drop your head back and you look back go back fabulous way keep the legs nice and straight as you pump your chest up and now sense your armpits i want you to open your armpits you're taking your arms back to where your ears are hips and tummy thighs forward the head you drop back, the float is open, you're lifting your chest up and you're going back a little bit more, you're breathing back a little bit more, way back, go back, way back, more back, breathe back, yes, we'll go back, yes, Colby, one more breath. <laughs> Inhale as you come up, they're spectacular. Suck in your tummies, bend your knees, guys, and come down with straight spine. Get your hands on the floor and do your little upside down, cha-cha-cha, till your low spine feels fabulous, all loose, comfy, easy, relaxed, wiggle your hips from side to side, okay, when you're ready, bend your knees. Lay your tummy in your thighs, lay your chest on your knees, reach around, scoop up your heels from behind. Get all your fingers to face the same direction as your toes in the screen. Drop the shoulders away from your ears. Grab the feet. Remember, it's, um, it's an hour yoga, so grab the feet when you can. Get the weight in the toes, Colby, wrap the elbows around the calf muscles a little bit more. Relax your head, let it hang very heavy. Try to round your forehead on the shins below the knees as you pull. Lift your hips up into the air as you pull. One more breath. Inhale as you come up really, really long. And let your arms just float down, take a breath, let go of everything, and you breathe. Okay, my beautifuls, would you look down at your feet, take a six and step to the right. Hide your heels behind your toes, inhale your arms up to center. I don't know if you know, Will, but this is an hour class today. It's the first one. So if you, yeah, I do a late one. Sucking your tummies, inhale, breathing, guys, and boom, you sit down on a chair. For those of you who would like to take my class, I still do a long one, you know, it's six, six o'clock. You get the weight back in the heels, lift your upper body up and you sit down deep. Keep on sticking your butt out. Get the weight back a little bit more. And um, Wayne, just open your heels quite slightly. Suki, it's lovely. Now you drop the shoulders away from you as you pull your tummy muscles in. You get the weight back in the heels. Keep on sitting down. Sit your butt back a little bit more. Now finally, lift your upper body up at the end. Please change. Come right up onto your toes as high as you possibly can. Then you straighten out your legs a lot to start with. Inhale, breathing. Crack your knees a little bit. Crack your knees a little bit. Rock the weight into the big toes, right heel, left heel, lift them up. And now it's fabulous, Eric, because your heels didn't lift up at all right now. And look at them now, they're amazing. Lift up your right heel, lift up your left heel. Don't let your knees come open, Ma. Keep your knees a little bit closer. Right heel, left heel, both heels, both heels change. Beautiful, bring your knees together. Lift your heels a little bit. Suck in your tummy, slide. 
down your cool marble wall. Point your knees down towards the bottom of the screen. You stop, you hover an inch or two of your heels. Your eyes are open, the breath is normal. Squeeze your knees together as much as you possibly can. Drop the shoulders down, pulling your tummy muscles. Inhale, breathing, squeeze your knees. And very, very gently, would you please push the floor away and feet together, arms down, take a breath. Let go and you breathe. Let's do Garudasana. So please look, inhale your arms up over your head. Notice which is your right arm, which is your left arm with my arm Brazil. Now swing your right arm completely underneath your left and cross your forearm some towards your face and pull your elbows down deep. Then sit down deep, butt out, chest up. As you pull the elbows down, pick up your right leg and wrap and coil and really, really squeeze those legs together. Squeeze your legs together as much as you can and peel your upper body up. Trying to get your wrist, your elbows, it's lovely ma. Your knees and your ankles all in one straight line down the center line of your body. If your foot slips, you're going to sit down. But if you're losing your balance, keep on lifting your upper body up. Move your knees right, bring your left hip forward, change. Arms over your head and go, please swing the left underneath your right. And then cross your forearms, thumbs towards your face, pull the elbows down, sit down deep, butt out, chest up. Now please, would you pick up your left leg and wrap it, coil it and bend it around the right one. Eyes are open, breath is normal, lift your upper body up. Squeeze your thighs on top of each other as much as you can. Breathe, pull the elbows down, move your knees to the left. Bring your right hip forward, perfect suki. Take your bum out behind you, pull the elbows down, lift your upper body up and change. Let your arms float down and hey guys, would you please have a drink of your water and we're going to move right along. What I've realized is I can just go for everybody for the one set. That was so beautiful, Ma. Okay, we're going to go into the cardio strong. We're going into the cardio strong. So when you're ready, straighten out your left leg, contract your left thigh muscle. Round over and please pick up your right foot or your knee. There you go, my Rene, or your knee. See how you feel. Straighten the leg you're standing on, straighten the leg you're standing on. You're already on the clock, guys. You're already on the clock. Contract the thigh muscle. Pull the knee up of your left thigh. Spread the whole of the weight over the whole of the standing foot and keep on straightening the leg. Will it looks gorgeous? Straighten the knee. If your leg is really straight, inhale, exhale, and very gently, boom, you kick your right heel forward towards the screen. Renee, it's getting better every day, my darling, every week. And as you've kicked out, very, very beautiful Ma, you pull your toes back towards your face with Aaron. Some of you in different time zones so it's easier to kick out. When you're ready, pull your toes back towards your face, begin to bend your elbows down to break the plane of the calf muscle. Once the elbows go below the plane of the calf muscle, then you pull your toes back, try to round your body a little bit more and squeeze everybody else you get on one leg. We've only 10 seconds to go. So straighten the leg you're standing on, look at the ground if you want to, Aaron. Void your knee with Ma. Yes, Ma, very stable. Three, two, done. Look at you, Renee, that was beautiful. Ma, very stable, darling. Straighten out your right leg, round over, pick up your left foot or your knee, depending on what you've got, depending on where you are, depending on what you need. Straighten the leg you're standing on, spread the whole of the weight over the whole of your standing foot. And remember your interlocking fingers and thumb below the toes. And remember you're straightening the leg you're standing on. If your back, it feels a little bit strained, just lift your back up and lift your leg up as high as you are, like Renee. Now, if your right leg is straight, solid, concrete, one piece, you do not even have a knee. Inhale, exhale, and then boom, you kick your left heel forward. Once you kick your left heel forward, beautiful Chrissy, you pull your toes back as hard as you can towards your face. And then if you're ready for that, you can begin to bend your elbows down to break the plane of the calf muscle. Once they go below the plane of the calf muscle, then you're going to get your chin into your throat. Cast your eyes to the ground. Lovely, Ma, just look at the ground. Find your balance on the ground, Ma. Don't do any more. Once you've found your balance, Ma, then chin into the throat. Void you knee and here we go for the last five four three two done yes mom that was very very beautiful guys well done Renee and you breathe and you breathe little back bend little back bend okay moving right along you're doing long postures but just one set in the beginning so bend your right elbow in at the waist palm facing up with my Chrissy let your hand go down and pick up the foot from the inside I love you darling bring your knees together to touch 
Inhale with energy, your right, left arm up really high. Your left arm is right by your head. Now inhale, exhale, and very gently, would you begin to kick the leg directly behind you. As you kick the leg back, it's lovely, Emily. Lift your upper body up, it's fabulous, Suki. Keep on lifting your body up, lift your body up, lift your body up, it's gorgeous, Chrissy. And you're kicking really, really hard into your right arm. And you're kicking so hard, you're pulling your right shoulder directly behind the left one in the screen. Suki, it's quite amazing. And you kick up the leg, yes, my Lindsay, a little bit more. Drop your right hip down slightly, Eric. Just drop your right hip down slightly. And then you'll find the balance, you're not leaning to the left. Now, as you kick the leg up a little bit more, start to bring your right left shoulder towards your chin. It's fabulous, Chrissy. As you touch your chin to the shoulder, I want you to keep on kicking the leg up a little bit more. It's gorgeous, Will. And you kick up the leg a little bit more. Now, finally, drop the left shoulder towards your chin. Touch your chin to the shoulder. If you fell out, you can come straight back in, guys, and keep on kicking five, and keep on kicking four, and kick and kick and kick and kick and done. Boom. Take a breath. Take a breath. Other side, left elbow in at the waist, palm facing up. Let your hand go down and scoop up the foot. Please bring your knees together to touch. Inhale with energy, your right arm very, very high, right far back behind your head. Now you inhale, breathe in, guys, and kick your leg back really, really hard and lift your body up. Renee, it's exquisite. Kick your leg back, yes, Ma, really hard. And whenever you feel like you're falling forward, you just keep on lifting up, lifting up that right arm. Try to drop the hip down a little bit bit suki but the posture is incredible I'm, I'm really like i can't even correct you really it's so beautiful as you kick now this side's very strong eric as you keep on kicking the leg up you're pulling yes renee both of your shoulders in one line with chrissy doesn't matter if you fall out if you like you fall in big toe into the floor you lift up that right arm a little bit more now here we are guys drop the right shoulder towards your chin touch it into the shoulder and you kick up the leg for five you kick it up for four you keep on kicking for three you kick and kick and kick and done boom Take a breath, let go, and you breathe. Okay, guys, let's do Tula, Tula Dan. So please, with my way, inhale your arms up over your head. Interlock your fingers, release your index, glue your wrists together. Take a great big step on your right foot, point your left toe, inhale breathing, now go. I want you to bring your upper body down and stretch forward. Chin is away from the chest, it's going to be a little bit longer. Keep on stretching forward, point the toes behind you, body down, arms up, body down, leg up. Keep on stretching forward, keep on pointing the toes, body down a little bit more. Keep on reaching forward, point the toes behind you, stretch forward guys, stretch back, boom, 20 seconds. Breathe, 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 breathe. Take a great big step, left foot, point your right toes. Inhale, breathing, guys, and go. Bring your upper body down, just stretch forward. It's fabulous, Wayne. Chin is away for the chest. It's so strong, Will. Keep on reaching forward. Very, very beautiful, Aaron. Body down, leg up. Yes, Chrissy. Body down, arms up. Keep on straightening your leg. That's it, Eric. As you stretch forward, you point the toes behind you. Body down, leg up. Body down, arms up. <laughs> Boom, done. Another 20 seconds. Take a breath. Take a breath. Great job, Wayne. Great job, everybody. Everybody nailed it. Okay. Let's do Dande Amana. Uh, be back to Pada. Pashimot Danasana. So please, when you're ready, come to the left-hand side of your space with my suki and inhale your arms up over your head. Then go take a great big four and a half foot step to the right, arms down parallel immediately. Turn your toes in, heels out, arms back, chin up, sucking your tummy, and you go down, lengthen forward, guys. As you go down, lengthen forward. Get the weight of the toes, it's fabulous, Suki. Slide your hand down the back of your legs and grab your heels. Once you grab the heels, get the weight into the toes and lift your hips up into the air. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. It's fabulous now, Colby. Colby, get the weight in the toes a little bit more. Contract the front of your thigh muscles. If you can, Colby, see? your leg immediately straightened as you get the weight in the toes you pull lift your hips up into the air and pull it's gorgeous Suki Suki you're going to have to bring your feet in a little bit closer because you're so advanced at this your head is about to touch the floor so as you get the weight in the toes now if you can wrap the elbows around the calf muscles Chrissy a little bit more this is fabulous Aaron shoulders away from your ears it's beautiful Wayne as you lift your hips up there you go my Lindsay pull one more breath <laughs> inhale as you come up you have just saturated your brain with oxygen and you breathe. Take a breath. And let's do Trikonasana, triangle pose. When you're ready, please, with my will, inhale your arms up over your head. You've got great posture as well. Take a great big four and a half a step to the right, arms down parallel immediately. 
Now push your hips forward, arms back, turn on the right heel, turn the toe a half inch more, turn the back foot in a 45 degree angle, inhale breathing. Now sit down, sit down, sit down. You're on the clock, boom, move your arms. The second your elbow touches in front of that right knee, you stop there and begin to push the knee back with the help of the elbow. You keep on sitting down into the knee till one day you'll sense that your thigh is parallel to the ground. It's lovely, Emily. Your and will it's beautiful. Pushing your right knee back with the help of the elbow. You're going to reach and touch one day in between the first and second toe. Now turn your chin and touch your chin to the shoulder. Reach up with your left hand. Look up towards your left thumb without moving your head. So only your eyes are looking up. Straighten out your left leg. Keep rounding your left baby toes into the ground as you push your right knee back with the help of the elbow. Now please stretch your arms in opposite directions. As you reach up as high as you can, you're reaching down as low as you can. Straighten out your left leg. Dig your left baby toe into the floor. Reach up, reach down, turn the profile of your face. One more breath. Nailed it. Breathe. Hips forward, arms back, turn on the other heel. Turn the toe a half inch more. Turn the back foot in a 45 degree angle, inhale breathing. And you sit down, and you sit down, you sit down, you sit down. Then please suck in your tummy and boom, you move your arms. It's very strong, Emily. Once you move your arm, your elbow touches in front of the knee. You're pushing your back with the help of the elbow. So your elbow and your knee are touched. If you think, well, if your elbow and knee are touched, how can I reach in between my first and second toe? It's how deeply you sit into the hip. Straight, and that comes over time. Very, very strong, Colby. Now get your chin down slightly, Colby, so your chin tucks in the shoulders. Very, very powerful, Eric. As you really straighten out your right leg, digging your right baby toes down into the floor, pushing your left knee back with the help of the elbow. Now stretching your arms in opposite directions like a natural human tug of war. Lindsay, it's very, very beautiful. As you open up those, the muscles between your back, as you open up your shoulder blades, the muscle in between them, they stretch. As you reach up as high as you can, it's fabulous, Eric. You reach down. Nailed it. Fabulous posture, guys. Long. Feet together, arms down. And take a breath. And let go of everything. Especially this being you call you. When you're ready, my beautifuls, inhale your arms up over your head. Hands in prayer. Cross your thumbs. Take a three-foot step to the right and lift your toes. Then spin one, two, three, four, five, six. Sucking your tummy, chin in really tight, and you begin to round over. As you bend your front knee, you're trying to touch your third eye on your knee. As you begin to straighten out your, once your forehead touches your knee, then you can use the weight of your forehead to actually straighten out your knee a little bit more. Try to get your left hip, right hip up and back and the left hip down and forward. So one day I could put a tray on your back. Use the weight of your forehead to straighten out the front leg. And then maybe you can work on getting your hands in prayer a couple of inches in front of your toes. Lift your wrists up off the floor so you really straighten out your elbows. I'm sorry, they're not there. Dig your baby fingertips into the floor. Fabulous, Eric. Inhale, breathing. And you unfurl. Round your spines as you come up. Then lift your toes and you spin to the screen. Change my, um, Aaron, you might have just frozen. Yeah, you did. Lift your toes, spin to the screen. One, two, three, four, all the way around. Then please get your chin down, suck in your tummy, and would you please round over. Completely bend your front knee as you round over. Sucking in your tummy, rounding your spine, lifting the middle of the spine up to the ceiling. Trying to get your left hip up and back this time and your right hip completely down and forward. Eyes are open, breath is normal. Try to round your spine, left hip up a little bit more. Now use the weight of your forehead, push it into the knee. This is the most uncomfortable posture. This is why I'm pushing on it, you know? It's uncomfortable, it's the one we want. Get your chin in really tight, push your forehead into your knee. If your forehead stays on your knee, then maybe you get your hands in prayer a couple of inches in front of your toes as you suck in your tummies, inhale breathing, and please would you unfurl as you round up. Very beautiful. And feet together, arms down, take a breath, let go, and you breathe. And you breathe. Okay, tree pose and toe stand in London. So please, would you straighten out your left leg? Pick up your right foot. Hold the foot as high as you can on your thigh. There's a little nook at the top of your thigh just waiting for this foot. And you lengthen. It's beautiful, Eric. And you're finding stillness. 
You are balancing on the left-hand side of your body, but it is actually the right-hand side of your body that's messing the balance up. That's why we go on one leg, to try and throw you off. Everybody in here is very, very strong and not wobbling at all. New people jump up all over the place like little jack in a box. So you understand how strong you've become and you lengthen. You are an antenna and you pick up divine energy from the stars, you breathe and change. Straighten out your left leg, right leg, excuse me, and pick up your left. So you know in the Bhagavad Gita, this, this posture, toe stand, you know I've spoken about the goddess that was uh, made to kill people, the goddess called death, made to kill people, she refused to. She said prefer to stand on one leg, 100,000 years or more, rather than kill one human being. So you see our postures, they're not just made up by normal people from nowadays. They were made up at the time when the Bhagavad Gita was, was written. You understand this? Our yoga has got nothing to do with the other yoga. The other yoga is more akin to gymnastics than it is to a spiritual practice. And I'm not dishing it. You can do that as well, but make sure you've got this as you breathe and change. My Shavasana is different now, Portia. Okay, straighten out your left leg again. Pick up your right foot. And the foot can slip on your thigh a little bit. Then please bend over and get your hands on the ground, ready to catch yourself. Excellent, Eric. And we know that wasn't there before, Eric. And you breathe. And you know, the gods, they came back to talk to death after 100,000 years to say, please, we're overrun with humanity. Sounds like Bill Gates. You're overrun with humanity, sorry about that. As you lengthen, you have to call some of them. And she said, no, I prefer to stand on one toe for 200, 500,000 years, then kill one person. As you breathe, left hand up, from over the heart, right hand up, change. So you see our yoga is so ancient. Then please, would you straighten out? your right leg again, and pick up the left. So you know we've got Garudu is an ancient being, part golden eagle, part man. You know we've got the Sphinx. You know we have the Sphinx as well. You know there's Adamat Sindrasana. And you know in Greece there are horsemen. You know these Theraantros populate the whole of the ancient world. That's when I knew this yoga was ancient. Because as you know, Bikram didn't tell us it was ancient. He said he made it up. And it was only when he threw me out and ceremoniously, and I began to teach on my own, that the ancients began to talk. When you're ready, left hand come, left your heart in Namaskar. That's it, Eric. Always go for the left first, and then the balance will come. Always go for the left first. You breathe, you hold, and you change. Excellent job. Absolutely beautifully excellent job. Thank you, Eric. And you're going to turn around and lay down and let go and breathe. Laying your beautiful mats. My beloveds, I adore you. Do you know every time I come to class and teach and teach and teach with you guys, it actually helps me to wake up. Because you know, we're all in the same position. We're all in a state of deep sleep. And we're trying to haul ourselves out of it. And our yoga is one of the ways on this planet. It said there are six, I don't remember the others. This is the only one that worked for me. And you lay down now quickly, remember, lay down, let go. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, you do not move. You are a being that is made of pure light. You live in this body of yours and it's made of stardust. You are built in the image of the divine being. And along with that, you are profoundly loved. We are all different versions of this divine energy. Every single one of us is a divine being having a human experience. Now, the difference with us is that we know it. Most of mankind is not aware of it because obviously the religions are telling them that God is outside of themselves. Usually they say he's in the sky in some kind of white outfit. I don't know. But, you know, that is not how it works. You are God's. You are goddesses within. You are asleep. And this is the most beautiful dream of your life. Your life is a dream. Once you know this life is a dream, you do not fear the end. 
because as everybody knows when they wake up, even if it was a nightmare, they wake up and they're alive. Our life is the same. And the High Lord Buddha who woke up doing our yoga, he knew this because the High Lord Buddha, you see him laying down asleep on his hands. And that is an allegory of the fact that we are asleep and having the most beautiful dream. You are a being made of pure light and you are loved. And you know what's different about every single person on the mat right now? You all know it. And that's what know thyself means. It doesn't mean know what you dress or know what you eat, no. It means know how you are constructed in the image of the divine. When you're ready, please pick up your right leg, interlock your fingers under your thumb, grab the leg on top and just below the knee and pull the knee away from the rib cage. And then you pull it on in towards the armpit and your back of your neck is super long on the ground and the chin is down and you're pulling and you're holding and you're breathing, you're freezing right there, massaging, stimulating, whole of your ascending colon right over if you possess one and then change. Please do you pick up the other leg. Interlock your fingers and your thumb, pull the knee away from the rib cage, in towards your armpit, back of the neck, super long on the ground, chin down. And you're pulling and you're holding and you're breathing and you're freezing right there as you massage and stimulate the hole on the side of your descending colon and your left ovary if you possess one. And change. Now, please, would you pick up both of your legs, swing your arms around them, grab your elbows, pull your knees tight, compact into your belly. The back of your neck is long, the chin is down. Keep on pulling, guys, holding, breathing, freezing right there as you massage and stimulate the whole of your transverse colon. The colon is so vital that it's kept clean. It is the trash bin. Imagine you clean your whole house every day, but the trash bin, you never empty it. You know it, but you keep on filling it. You keep on filling it. You know one day, the trash bin is going to poison the whole house you won't be able to live in it this is why you've got to really work on your colon for one more breath and change the colon is the trash bin of the body but it's a beautiful organ so my beautifuls we're going to do a sit up arms over your head and flex your toes back inhale sit up exhale exhale spin around lay in your tummies you know, the beginning, the um, standing series is actually the warm up. The real yoga begins on the ground. So hands, palms underneath your shoulders, um, Colby. Right now, your um, fingertips are underneath your armpits, Colby. So get them underneath your shoulders. So walk your fingertips forward, Colby. Now they're at your waist. Yeah, bring them closer to your body. Elbows poke up like grasshopper legs. Push your feet down hard into the floor. Now inhale, breathing. Peel your upper body up as you look up and come up. Shoulders away from your ears as you're pushing your hips down into the ground. And you're lifting up. And you're looking up. Drop your head back as you lift up. Go up. Breathe up. One more. Lift come down put your look to the right arms down by your side let go of everything every opinion you've got let go of it especially opinions that you have about yourself they're the most painful of all second set chin forward with my mom hands palms down on the ground Tip of the fingers, measure level exactly with the top of the shoulders. Zip up your legs, inhale, breathing, and you peel your upper body up as you come up and you lift up and you go up, pushing the tips of your fingertips into the floor. Lovely doggy ma, and your shoulders away from your ears and you keep on peeling up. Suki, it's lovely, it's gorgeous, Colby. Lift up, drop your head back now. Come up, lift up, one more, lift. Come down. Look left, arms down by your side. Let go of everything, everything. Breathe, let go of everything so you're empty. When you're empty, you can be filled with divine energy. Chin forward with my way, turn your hands, palms down the ground. Get your elbows underneath your body so your baby fingers are touching side by side. Your chin is forward, forget about your left leg, lengthen out your right leg long, inhale and go. Lift a beautiful right leg up. Now turn your right hip down into your forearm. It doesn't matter if your leg lifts up 45 degree angle, no higher than that, or an inch off the ground. It doesn't matter as long as your leg is straight. Push your hips into your forearm. Lengthen your chin forward, hold. Change. Now forget that leg. Lengthen the left, inhale and go. Lift a beautiful long, yes, Emily, long leg up. 
and you point the toe and you're lifting the leg up. Colby, it's exquisite. And you point, especially the pointed toe, my Colby, as you turn your left hip down into your forearm. Yes, Eric. And you hold the leg so long, you hold the leg so straight. And change. Okay, guys, face down. Kiss the towel. Walk your fingertip down towards your knees. Spread your fingers, grip the towel and zip up your legs. Now inhale, breathing, guys, and go. Uh, both legs off the floor into the air. Push your face down. It's amazing, Wayne. The whole of your legs are off the floor. You're all the way up to your navel, Wayne. As you lift your legs up, go up, breathe up, more up, way up, lift up, go up, breathe up. One more breath. Come down. Let go, look right. And what is astounding about that, Wayne, is that you're like maybe three years older when you came and you couldn't do this. And now you're younger because you can do this posture, you know? Okay, second set, chin forward. Turn your hands, palms down the ground. This yoga just excites me. Baby fingers touching side by side. Chin forward. Forget about your left leg, lengthen out your right leg. Inhale, breathe and go with my Lindsay. You lift a gorgeous long right leg up. You have such a lovely house, Lindsay. And you hold the leg so long, you hold the leg so straight. You know it's a house when you go and you can get all comfy. And you keep on straightening the knee, you point the toe, you hold. Change, yes, Renee. Now forget that leg, lengthen the left long. Inhale, breathe and go. You lift a really long left leg up and you point the toe. Turn the left hip down into your forearm. Lindsay, it's beautiful, especially your chin, baby girl. And you keep on holding the leg, you point the toe. You lift it, Colby, exquisite. Yes, my Emily. Change. Okay, face down, kiss the towel. Round your shoulders, walk your fingers down towards your knees and zip up your legs. Now inhale, breathing, guys, and go, boom. Uh, both legs up on the floor into the air. Push your face down into the ground. Push your shoulders down into the ground. As you lift your legs up, go up, lift up, breathe up. One more beautiful lift. Come down. Immediately, look left. Arms down by your side. You're going to let go of everything. And then. Chin forward, arms out to the side, like aeroplane wings, like angel wings, or like an aeroplane. Zip your legs up with my Emily. Now inhale, breathing, guys, and go. Lift everything up the floor into the air. Lift your arms up so they're level with the top of your head. And you look up. Yes, Emily, it's gorgeous. And Suki, the lift is beautiful. And Wayne, now get your legs up off the floor. It's beautiful, Will. As you look up, lift up, go up. One more lift. Come down, look right, arms down by your side, go into your mini Shavasana. And you breathe, and you breathe. And second set, chin forward, my flower girl, Colby, surrounded by plants. Zip your legs up, toes and heels together. Now, inhale, breathing, guys, and go. Everything out of the floor into the air. Arms up level. Yes, Ma, with the top of your head. Keep on lifting your arms up. Remy looks beautiful. All I can see is your bum, but I like it. Toes and heels together if you can, Colby. And now you look up and lift up. Go up, breathe up. Yes, my Chrissy. One more lift. Come down. And immediately where are you going to look? Left. Let go, breathe. Let go, melt. Okay. Chin forward. Bend your legs behind you. Reach around and grab your feet where? Just below the toes. Then you look forward to start with inhale breathing and go. Kick your legs back. That's it, Renee. Kick your legs back, roll onto your belly. Instantly roll the weight forward. That's it, Colby, roll the weight forward. It's hard to lift up the knees, but you want the knees level with your shoulders. You don't want your shoulders all lifted up, but your knees close to the ground. So keep on rolling forward, Suki, it's lovely. Keep on rolling forward as you get your thighs up. You've got long legs, Emily, they're heavier. As you look up and lift up, go up, breathe up. One more lift, come down. And you let go, you breathe, you let go. Look right. Okay. Second set. Bend your legs behind your chin forward. Reach around. Grab your feet. Where? Just below the toes. Then you look forward. Inhale, breathing, and go with will. Kick your legs up and back, will, and look up. Let's see that gorgeous face as you look up and kick kick up and you keep on kicking your your shoulders back you're opening up your breastplate yes ma but never let your knees go wider or your feet wider than your shoulders keep on kicking up and looking up drop your head back as you look up and you kick up one more kick come down look left 
Take a little break, breathe. Okay, push yourselves up. Let's do Supta Vajrasana, fixed firm posture, the healer of your knees. Open your toes and open your feet and get your butt in between. Every single new person that comes to class, when I tell them, open their toes and open the feet, they open their knees because we don't, every, everybody opens their knees because people just think of their limbs in one thing. They just think a leg. They don't think of a shin, a knee, an ankle, a foot, or a hip. They don't think of that. So they just move everything. The whole leg moves as you keep on lifting your chest up and you're holding your elbows over the top of your head. But you come to yoga and you begin to isolate each different part of your body because the way you're structured, you get to understand it. This is lovely, Eric. It doesn't matter how long it takes you to do that. As I said, 40 years. It took me about eight years to get into this posture. Breathe as you lift your chest up. And change, come up, turn around, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, and you are down. And you know, guys, I did the other yoga for 20 years, 22 years even, all the time, from the age of 26 to 48. And it took me eight years to get into this posture. What was I doing? Arms over your head and flex your toes back. Inhale, sit up, exhale, exhale, spin around. Is it second set? Open your toes, open your feet. And again, you're going to get your bum on the ground in between. Oh, is it hands in prayer? I'm sorry. Is it, which one is it? Is it first or second? Anybody's finger up? Is it second set? Oh, we've done two. This is the second one, Colby. Yes, perfect. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Eric. Open your toes, open your feet, bum in between. And you breathe. You get your butt down, lifting your chest up, holding your elbows over the top of your head. And you breathe. Yes, Wayne. Look how your body's opened, Wayne. You know it's ridiculous, Wayne. In three years you've done this, my darling. Holding your elbows over the top of your head if you're feeling it. Has a different effect when you're upright, um, Will. Very different effect to strain. But don't worry, you're still getting 100% benefits. You created the tourniquet effect in your knees. And that's what's important. Come on. The, the rest, we add on to it. But once you've got your tourniquet, then you're interrupting the blood flow in your body. And that's what we are aiming to do to completely mess up your blood flow. So when it goes forward, it's being backed up because it can't go any further. And this push has the same effect as an eclipse does on the planet, the way it cuts the energy off. Okay, guys, when you're ready, arms over your head and flex your toes back. Inhale, please sit up, exhale, exhale. And would you please spin around and come with my Lindsay in Ohio at the back of your towel or your mat. Knees touch, heels touch. Inhale, your arms up over your head, my beautiful hands in prayer. Chin is away from the chest, you suck in your tummies and then come down long. Lengthen, lengthen, really long. Chin is away from the chest, that beautiful kitty. Eyes are open, breath is normal. Now lift your wrists up off the floor. So Rene, what I want you to have a feeling now is get your bum away from your heels. Get the weight into your hands and get the weight towards your head because you want your head on the ground. So as you go forward more, go forward more. And if your arms can help you, yes, yes, Renee, yes, Renee. And the chin is away the chest, you squeeze your knees together, you're pulling your tummy muscles in. This is fabulous, Renee, a huge move. Chin away the chest, eyes are open, squeeze your knees, suck in your tummies. Come up with a straight spine. That's it, Renee. And turn around, 1,000, victory, 2,000, 3,000. And you are down and you let go and you breathe. And you breathe. Let go. Let go. Allow the blood to drain. And then second set. Arms over your head, toes back. Inhale, breathing, please sit up. Exhale, exhale. And please, would you spin around? Second set with my ma all the way there in Brazil. Sit on your knees and sit on your heels. You know, my beautiful. Inhale your arms up over your head, hands in prayer, cross your thumbs, and now you lengthen forward. Chin is away from the chest, so beautiful, Ma. Trying to get your forehead. Yes, Renee, you work on this because we know your butt goes on the heels, and now you know you, you do this. Chin is away from the chest, you're always trying to get your forehead into the ground. And when your forehead goes into the ground, how you know it's perfect is get the tip of the nose to barely graze the towel. 
So the chin is away from the chest, you're lengthening your arms forward, you're squeezing your knees together, you're pulling your tummy muscles in, sucking your tummies, lengthen forward, shoulder base scapula coming out of the body, inhale and come up long. Yes, Colby Emily. Yes, Suki Aaron. And turn around and lay down and let go, melt into the ground and breathe. You are a divine being having a human experience. The difference is with you, you know it. It's a big difference, guys, you know it. When you're ready, let's do camel. Oh, second, arms over your head and flex your toes back. Inhale, breathe in, crease it up. Exhale, exhale. And would you spin around with will and come and stand at the front of your space. When you stand at the front of your space, open your knees six inches. Open your knees six inches. It's camel will. It's camel will. So you're standing on your knees, Will. I'll go to somebody else so you can see what's going on. Put your hands on the top of your bottom, your lower back. Hips, tummy, thighs forward. As you lift your chest up, oh, you're on it now. Eyes are open, breath is normal, suck in your tummy. Keep pushing your hips and your tummy, your thighs forward and lift your chest up and drop your head back. Roll forward, roll forward. Colby, it's amazing. Keep on pushing hips and tummy, thighs forward as you lift your chest up and you drop your head back. And then you roll forward. Lovely, Chris, a little bit more. The second set, we're going to do a long one. And this one is a short one. So hips, tummy, thighs forward, lift your chest up, roll forward, roll forward. And then you change. Put your hands back to your hips. Please turn around with my way. Lay down. Let go and breathe, and breathe. This is the most powerful posture of all. The second one's going to be the minute. Arms over your head and flex your toes back. Inhale, sit up, exhale, exhale, and spin around. We have the same cat way, we would. Come and stand on your knees. Yeah, powder puff Persian, I know. Stand on your knees. Now this time, open your knees wide, guys. Eight to 10, but keep your hands on the top of your bottom. Okay, guys, the minute starts now. You're on the clock. And remember, if you need to come out, you do. You're not forced to do the minute. It's just an invitation. Hips, tummy, thighs forward as you lift your chest up. Wayne, it's beautiful as you roll forward, roll forward, roll forward. You keep on tightening your bum a little bit more. And hips, tummy, thighs forward. And keep on, yes, Emily, lifting your chest up. And you're pushing your hips and your tummy, your thighs way forward. And you're rolling forward, rolling forward. And your head is going back. You're tightening your bum. You're lifting your chest up. And as you know, if you've had enough, you can stop it if you've got a little bit more. Keep pushing your hips and tummy, thighs forward or halfway there or more than halfway as you roll forward, roll forward. Hips and tummy, thighs forward, lift your chest up and drop your head back as you open your throat. Keep on lifting, keep on pushing, keep on dropping your head back. And here we go, guys. It's only the last 10 seconds as you roll forward and everybody's in it. As you roll forward a little bit more, opening your breastplate, working on your solar plexus, working on every single chakra in your body. Change. Boom. Victory. Turn around, lay down. One thou, two thou, three thou. Let go, breathe, let go, breathe. When you're ready, arms over your head, toes back hard, inhale, sit up, exhale, exhale, please would you spin around. Come to the back of your space with my Lindsay and would you sit on your knees and sit on your heels. Your knees, they touch. Your heels, they touch. You reach around and grab your feet from behind, my beautiful. Chin down into your throat, sweetie, suck in your tummy. And would you roll over? Lift your hips up into the air as you roll over. Your eyes are open, the breath is normal. Yes, Renee, it's, everything's changing for you now, Renee. And so that Fibonacci, as you roll over, lift your hips up, shoulders away from your ears. Shuffle your knees forward towards your forehead. There's space. Eric, it's perfect. Shuffle your knees, Colby. You want your knees to touch your forehead. So keep shuffling them, putting enough weight in your head so your head doesn't move when you shuffle forward. Yes, Emily. Shoulders away from your ears as you lift your hips up. Keep on rolling forward, guys, just a little bit more. Eyes are open. The breath is normal. Lift your hips up. Roll forward. One more breath. Change, come up. Turn around, lay down. Let go. Please breathe. Please breathe. Let go of everything. Ah, oh, you just let go. You are a divine being. 
This earth makes you grip onto everything like it's the most important thing. The most important thing is that you are a divine energy built in the image of the divine. You're not a drop of the divine. You're the whole of the divine in one little beautiful, perfect drop. Second set, arms over your head and flex your toes back. Inhale, please sit up. Exhale, exhale, spin around. Come to the back of your space. And when you're ready with my Aaron, you're going to sit on your knees and sit on your heels and reach around and get a grip of them and get your chin down into your throat and suck in your tummy. And then you roll over. So I can see for next week where I can do even more. Shoulders away from your ears as you lift your hips up. Then you're going to shuffle your knees forward towards your forehead. This is the Fibonacci. That's it, Rene. Once your head is down, yeah, you can roll onto it slowly. Eyes are open. It's just perfect, Rene. Whatever you're doing is gorgeous. Now, remember those of you who before it's not touching your knees, shuffle your knees forward. Lift your hips up into the air. It's perfect, Will. Shuffle your knees forward. Your shoulders away from your ears as you shuffle your knees forward. Lift your hips up. Keep on rolling, Colby. Shuffle the knees a little bit, baby girl. Just a little bit by little bit. Little bit by little bit. Yeah. Change. You turn around. And you lay down. And you let go. And you breathe. And you breathe. Arms over your head and flex your toes back. Inhale, please sit up. Exhale, exhale. And would you spin around? I would like you to please get your right leg out into the right hand corner of your space and get your left leg into your groin if you can. Inhale up, interlock your fingers, turn. Face your outstretched leg, then round over, get a grip of your foot. And it doesn't matter how much you bend your knee to get a grip of the foot. Once you've got a grip of the foot, make sure your fingers are interlocked underneath tightly. One day you will make a fist. That's how much your arms, you will shorten them. Now, if you've got a really good grip and your leg happens to be straight, begin to bend your elbows down into the ground. Those of you that don't have straight legs, bit by bit, you're just sliding the heel away, but all the time you're tugging your toes back to stretch your Achilles tendon. And if you've got your elbows into the ground, yes, Ma, then lift your heel up off the floor with Aaron and Colby. Change. Very good, Will. Left leg out, right leg in. Inhale, up, turn, face the outstretched leg. Please round over, get a grip of the foot. Tug your toes towards your face, forehead on your knee. Remember again, how many times your forehead goes to your knee? It's moving you into the shape of the Fibonacci, but it's also activating your third eye. We activate your third eye by using the Fibonacci sequence. You are built, every single mammal grows in the Fibonacci in the mummy's tummy. Eyes are open, breath is normal, but your throat is choked, slide your heel away. If your heels really slid away, dig your elbows into the ground, pull your toes back and see if you can lift your heel up off the floor at the end. And then you change. One day it will come. First it starts with just a movement. Now feet together, you lay down. Inhale breathing, please sit up. Exhale, exhale. Would you grab your big toe with your first and your second finger and then you do the walk back business on your bum? Keep your back really straight. You see, you've got a well-behaved cat there, Emily. Mine's a little sod. Walk back, walk back. Drop your shoulders away from your ears, suck in your tummy, then hinge forward. And I've got to say, I love her more for it. Shoulders away from your ears, because you know I know she's inbred. As you keep on lengthening forward, she's a powder puff person, so definitely inbred. Keep on lengthening forward, keep on pulling. Shoulders away from your ears, look at me, Colby. Look forward, my baby, and keep on pulling. See if you can lay your tummy to your your thighs. Get a really strong grip, Eric. It doesn't matter if you bend your knees a little bit. Get that really strong grip. Pull one more breath. Change. And turn around. And please lay down. And you let go. And you breathe. We are yogis. Every single one of us is a yogi. And you breathe. We can't help ourselves. Arms over your head and flex your toes back. Inhale, sit up. Exhale, exhale, spin around. Every day you come, you take a potion. Hey, my Emily, 
So please, would you get your right leg out in the right corner of your space? And then you're going to get your left leg into your groin, my beautiful. And you inhale your arms above your head, interlock your fingers, turn, face the outstretched leg, round over, get a grip of your foot. When you get a grip of the foot, you pull your toes back towards your face, lovely Chrissy, slide the heel away. You can bend your knees, um, if you can, a little bit, um, Renee. Bend your knees a little bit, baby. Bend them more. Yeah, bend them. If you can't, it's different. Oh, I feel you. Okay. But Renee, the funny thing is your body, it looks like it's open so much. That didn't even occur to me. Yes, baby girl. Now pull your toes back towards your face. Dig your elbows into the ground, Ma. There the Ma. Then lift the heels up at the end. Change. Only thing, Ma, is grab the feet below the toes. Now left leg out and right leg in. Inhale up and turn. Face the outstretched leg, round over and get a grip of your foot. Uh, do you know something, Renee? Your body is just opened like a book. Pull your toes back, slide your heels away. Very, very good, Wayne. As you slide your heel away, pull the toes back hard. Dig your elbows into the ground. And if your leg is straight and your forehead's on your knee, then maybe you can lift your heel up off the floor at the end. And you change. Now feet together, laid down. The minute your shoulders hit, boom. You sit straight back up. Exhale, exhale. Would you grab your big toe first and second finger? Do the walk back. Walk back, walk back, getting those cute butts behind you because you are virtually all American girls and a Brazilian. So yes, you all have butts. Drop the shoulders away from your ears. Not so much in England as you drop the shoulders away from your ears. Doesn't matter what color you are in England, no butts. Doesn't matter what color you are in America, all got butts. Same as Brazil. As you lengthen forward, all that beautiful butterfly, Ma, lengthen forward, keep on pulling. Bend the elbows, pull. Push the back of the knees down, pull. One more delicious breath change and turn around and lay down and you let go and you breathe and you breathe melt into the ground and here we go guys final spinal music to your ears so arms over your head flex your toes back hard inhale sit up exhale exhale and please would you spin around when you're ready with my Eric, you're doing a great job, Eric. Your yoga is amazing. Bend your left leg underneath you. Do not sit on your left heel. Pick up your right foot. Cross it over the corner of your left knee joint. Lift up your left arm over the knee. Push the knee out of the way. Then you're going to reach down and grab the lower knee. Now make sure your right butt is on the ground as well, Suki. So rock into both butt cheeks are on the ground. And now your butt cheeks on the ground. You've lined yourself up. Spin the middle spine. Now twist the upper spine. Now try to twist your neck and your shoulders. As you keep on pushing knee back, you twist, you twist, you twist, one more twist. Change. Now please bend your right leg underneath you. Do not sit on your right heel. Pick up your left leg, cross it over the corner, right knee joint. Lift up your right arm over the knee. Then you push the knee out of the way, you grab the low knee and make sure you're sitting in both of your sit bones because we tend to lean towards, in this instance, it will be the right hip. So make sure your left one's down. Lengthen your spine. Once they're down, they're grounded. Middle spine, twist. Upper spine, twist. Head, skull, twist. And now use your eyes, because remember where your eyes go, your body will follow, to twist and twist and twist. You are so done and turn around and lay down and let go. And you breathe. And all we have left is a couple of batty breathing to do. So for the last time today, arms over your head and place your toes back. Inhale, breathing, please sit up. Exhale, exhale and spin around and sit on your knees and sit on your heels. And Ma, that beautiful butterfly has been playing with you, the class. Lengthen your spine, shoulders away from your ears, my Eric. So we're going to snap your bellies in. Every time you blow out, you know what you're doing and you know you are enabling your diaphragm to hold your heart and lungs in the right place, even when you're 100. Lengthen your spine, inhale breathing, and let's go for it. Snap your tummies in and lengthen your spine. Your shoulders are down and your tummy's in, and you keep on blowing. You're emptying your lungs of toxins. You're emptying your bloodstream, miles and miles of bloodstream of toxins as you breathe. This is the biggest detoxifier 
in your whole body, the lungs, the breath. Three, two, done. Swallow a couple of times. Next time we're going to go twice as fast. So inhale, breathing, and let's go for it. Stop your tummies in. Keep on blow, 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 blow. Tummies in, 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 in. Keep on blowing, blow, 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 as fast as you can. As fast as you can, guys. Five, even faster, four. Even faster, three. Even faster, two, one, done. Boom. Thank you, Eric. Honor your beautiful selves, my gorgeouses. You made it. Eric, you did an exquisite job and you're going to lay down. I love you guys. We did it right on time, right on the dot. Yes, Aaron, whoop, 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 whoop. So pleased. I'm so pleased. Something new. So as you melt into the ground, no. You are beings made of light, no. You are completely and absolutely loved. Thank you for your class. One heart, one love, only one race, the human race, Jarasta, far I. Namaste, my beloveds, I love you. You did an amazing job, thank you. I love you. Have the most blessed day.